Good afternoon, dear participants of the International Conference on ICT in Educational uh, Research and Industrial Applications. Um, I would like to present you our paper on topic uh, of machine learning technology for neoplasm segmentation on brain MRI scans uh, by PhD student uh, Ivan Sava, a PhD associate professor Yegin Sidenk, and Doctor of Science professor Yuri Kondratenko from Petroma Hill Black Sea National University. In recent years, the field of machine learning uh, has um, undergone a significant development and advances in this field have uh, influenced uh, the development of uh, other areas of our lives. Machine learning algorithms are used everywhere to analyze financial markets, search engines, personalize online uh, um, uh, advertising, and so on and so on. Uh, one of the important areas of machine learning is computer vision, uh, the technology of machine development that can detect, track, and classify objects. Um, segmentation in the computer vision is uh, the process of dividing a digital image into several segments. Uh, the purpose of segmentation is to simplify and uh, or uh, change the presentation of an image so that it is easy to analyze. Segmentation is used in many areas, for example, in production for indicating defects in the assembly of parts, in medicine for primary processing of images, and so on. Machine learning has found its uh, way into medicine. For example, regression systems uh, based on patients' data can classify them as potentially ill. Uh, they detect uh, tumors um, in the, the tomographic images. The image is segmented. Now, the result of segmenting an uh, image is a set of uh, pixels that uh, together form segments and cover the entire uh, image. All pixels uh, in the segments are similar uh, regarding one of more properties, such as color. Uh, neighboring segments uh, differ significantly uh, in such factors. Uh, a semantic uh, set of brain MRI uh, images uh, of uh, only one type of cancer, glioma, was uh, selected for this task. Uh, glioma is a very common type of brain tumor. They are diagnosed in 60% of cases. Let's consider convolutional uh, neural network as a class of uh, deep uh, artificial neural networks that have been successfully applied to the analysis of visual images. Uh, CNNs use a variety of multiplayer uh, perceptrons designed to require minimal preprocessing. Consider this example in figure 1. Uh, the input is an array of input data, such as an image, the convolutional process itself uh, is performed using a filter, uh, for example, kernel uh, array uh, is a filter. Uh, filter sizes and uh, values are usually determined by an expert who designed the CNN model, and they are smaller than uh, the input data because they are used as uh, some sort of sliding windows. During the convolution process, the filter is overlaid um, on the image on the input image. The example of such overlay is uh, shown uh, in Figure two. Uh, after that, the filter starts to move uh, in the image with a certain step and forms uh, an uh, output data layer. Uh, those uh, dimension is smaller than the dimension uh, of the input data. Uh, for a 5 to 5 image, a 3 to 3 uh, filter and uh, a 1 pixel step, a 3 to 3 uh, output array is obtained when uh, minimized. In figure 3, the result of defined is uh, in red um, the output array, which is an uh, in intermediate layer uh, in the over overall structure of the CNN. Uh, there are different ways to aggregate uh, a future map. The most common is uh, max pooling. An uh, example of this work is shown in Figure 4. Uh, to create the ResNet uh, architecture, uh, certain classes uh, have been developed that uh, implement the elementary uh, building blocks of um, a residual network. The classes uh, residual block ResNet encoder, ResNet code, and ResNet itself. Uh, also, according to um, research materials, several types 
of ResNet were created that differ only in settings from ResNet 19 to ResNet 152. The ResNet model was trained was trained. Uh, this uh, model architecture shows uh, a good result in 79%. The rest of the training process is shown uh, in Figure 5. After this training, the SEGNET model passed. Uh, this uh, model architecture shows a result of 17.57%. Uh, At the moment, the ResNet model uh, prevails over SEGNET accuracy. The SIGNET training process is shown in Figure 6. Now we compare this model with uh, UNET. A uh, UNET class uh, was created to follow the uh, NN model class. And uh, the architecture of the UNET model shows a result of 79%. The model is, shows better the results than the previous two models. The training process of UNET is shown in Figure 7. Uh, in the future, we will apply preprocessing methods to improve the accuracy of the models. To simplify uh, the work and uh, improve the results, we apply the statistical technique of sailing uh, analysis. During the operation, uh, the model was uh, consistently trained without processing methods and then trained on these methods, uh, which will be added uh, sequentially. This process is uh, repeated for each um, architecture. Uh, this approach allows you to check the progress of model training and uh, the impact of each part of the system on accuracy. Taking into account changes in accuracy in different uh, parts will allow us to highlight priority area areas for further work. The result of uh, such uh, sailing analysis are shown in Table 1 and uh, we can see that uh, UNET uh, um, architecture is the best according to these five steps. Uh, as you can see from the table, the best result, um, as I say, is uh, to use the UNET model with additional data processing to unify the data and uh, then to increase the localization accuracy. The result of 94% is a significant improvement and uh, satisfies uh, the needs of the task. So the problem can be considered solved. In Figure 9, the uh, predications of the final optimized model on the validation data are indicated. Model uh, predictions are indicated using the red color, uh, while ground uh, truths are colored green. Conclusions, I would like to say that uh, this paper focused on the study of machine learning algorithms for the automated segmentation of neoplasms uh, in brain MRI images. And in the third uh, section, uh, the selected uh, machine learning algorithms were used and developed to solve the problem of segmentation of tumors on brain MRI images. After all, during the compare, comparison uh, um, system of the unit architecture with additional processing um, methods was selected as a final model. In its accuracy uh, reached uh, 94%, which is a significant result compared to manual image segmentation. Thank you very much.